Hello students, in today's class of Geotechnical Engineering, we will be doing uh, two sums on the chapter Bearing Capacity. So the first sum will be a normal one of calculation of ultimate uh, bearing capacity, net sub bearing capacity etc. And the next one we will do considering the water table. In the first one there will be no water table. So um, I am not writing the full question, I will just dictate the question and write the values that are um, given in the question. So uh, a 2 meter wide strip footing uh, is founded at a depth of 1.5 meter below ground level in a homogeneous bend of den uh, bed of dense sand having the following properties phi is equal to 36 degree gamma equal to 1.85 ton per meter cube uh, determine the determine the ultimate bearing capacity net ultimate bearing capacity and um, and given is for phi is equal to 36 degrees in c is equal to 60 in q is equal to 42 and in gamma is equal to 47 and assume factor of safety is equal to 3 okay so these are the data that are given in the sum Uh, first we have to calculate the ultimate bearing capacity so the ultimate bearing capacity QU uh, for ultimate bearing capacity uh, the formula for strip footing is CNC plus gamma DNQ plus 0.5 gamma beta N gamma now here this is a sandy soil uh, and here phi is equal to 36 degree gamma is 1.5 d is okay uh, let me write the values that are given phi is equal to 36 degree gamma is equal to 1.85 ton per meter cube d depth is 1.5 meter and width b is 2 meter and n c n q n gamma given and c is equal to 0 since it is a sandy soil the type of soil is sandy so just putting the values this term becomes 0 since c is 0 so 1.885 into gamma into d 1.5 into nq value is 42 plus 0 0.5 into gamma is 1.85 into b 2 into n gamma is 47 so after calculation it is 186.5 ton per meter square so this is the ultimate bearing capacity next is net ultimate bearing capacity q n u equal to so the formula is q u minus gamma d equal to 186.5 minus 1.85 into is 1.5 183.7 ton per meter square third is net we have to find safe bearing capacity so for that safe bearing capacity the formula is qs is equal to qns plus gamma df so qns is qnu by factor of safety plus gamma df equal to qnu the value is 183.7 f factor of safety is 3 plus gamma is 1.85 into df is 1.5 
so this is uh, coming down to 64 ton per meter square okay so the next sum an rcc column footing um, a column footing of footing of 5.8 meter into 1.8 meter size um, is founded at a depth 1.5 meter below ground level the subsoil of loose deposit of silty sand the soil conditions are gamma is equal to 1.75 ton per meter cube phi is equal to 20 degree centigrade and c is equal to 1.1 ton per meter square determine the ultimate bearing capacity of the footing determine the qu qu when when water table is at number one ground level number two 0 0.6 meter below ground level third is 2 meter below ground level and fourth is um, 4 meter below GL okay so this is the question So since it is a column footing, so we will consider the equation for square footing. Now since the value of phi is 20 degree, we will consider uh, it as general shear, um, sorry local shear failure. So assuming local, assuming local shear failure, the ultimate bearing capacity of square footing is is given by q u is equal to 1.3 c dash n c dash plus gamma d n q dash w1 plus 0 0.4 gamma b n gamma dash and w2 now we have to find the value of c dash first c dash is equal to 2 by 3 c is equal to 2 by 3 into 1.1 which is uh, 0 0.73 ton per meter square the gamma value we know it is 1.75 and d is 1.5 and uh, the value where should i write it so D is 1.5 meter and B is 1.8 meter. So Q U is equal to 1.3 into 0 0.73 into okay now for uh, phi equal to 20 let me just write over here for phi is equal to 20 degree mm, the values are given nc dash is equal to 11.8 nq dash is equal to 3.8 and n gamma dash equal to 1.3 so just putting the values 1.3 into 0 0.73 into nc dash is 11.8 plus gamma is 1.75 into d 1.5 into nq dash 3.8 into w1 plus 0 0.4 into b and gamma is 1.5 seven five into b b is one point eight into n gamma dash is one point three into w two 
so simplifying this it is coming down to eleven point two plus nine point nine seven w one plus one point six four w two so the first question was when water table is at ground level so when water table is at ground level z1 is equal to 0 um okay so let me just draw it so the depth of the foundation is um, how much 1.5 5 meter and P is 1.8 meter so after this point uh, the it is the water table uh, the bearing capacity is unaffected now 1.8 meter now in the first case the water table is at at this point suppose at this point now as per the um water table we studied so this is z1 if water table is from ground level to um, b and uh, this is z2 if water table is between uh, here to here that is d and b so when water table is ground level so z1 this value um, the same water table is over here so the value of z1 becomes 0 so w1 is equal to 0 0.51 plus z1 by d equal to 0 0.5 z1 is 0 1 is equal to 0 0.5 and um, w2 is unaptly Cable. Uh, it is unapplicable so this is equal to 1 I mean 0 0.5 1 plus 0 a eh, sorry 1 plus uh, z2 so 1 so that is why 1 so u u is equal to 11.2 plus 9.97 w1 plus 1.64 w2 equal to 11.2 plus 9.97 0 0.5 plus 1.64 into 1 which is equal to 17.82 um, ton per meter square next is when water table is at 0 0.6 meter below ground level so when water table is at 0 0.6 meter means somewhere like this the water table is somewhere like this in the second case so in this case z1 is equal to 0 0.6 meter so w1 is equal to 0 0.5 1 plus 0 0.6 by 1.5 equal to 0 0.7 and w2 is uh, um, again unapplicable equal to 1 therefore qu is equal to 11.2 plus 9.97 into 0 0.7 plus 1.64 into 1 Mm, which is equal to 19.82 ton per meter square third question was when water table is at 2 meter below ground level so 
so when 2 meter below the ground level so the water table should be somewhere at this point right this is 1.52 meter so it should be somewhere like it should lie somewhere like this so in this case z2 is uh, 2 minus 1.5 so 2 meter below the ground level so this hole is 2 meter so this much we have to find this is our z2 this uh, difference so z2 is equal to 2 minus 1.5 so 0 0.5 meter so this is 0.5 meter if the ground level is at this point so for the third question it is so w2 equal to 0 0.5 1 plus 0 0.5 by 2 sorry not to 1.8 by this b so 1.8 it is coming 0 0.6 and w1 is unapplicable so 1 so q is equal to 11.2 plus 9.97 into 1 plus 1.64 into 0 0.63 which is equal to 0.6 22.19 ton per meter square and the fourth question was when sorry water table is at water table is at, I think 6 meter 4 meter below the base is at 4 meter below the base so when the ground water table is 4 meter below the base so this total is 1.5 uh, plus 1.8 is this total is 2.3 b plus d is 2.3 So here V plus D is equal to 1.5 plus 1.8 meter equal to 2.3 meter. Now when ground water table is at uh, depth of 4 meter below the uh, no correction factor is necessary because um, since water table is at depth 4 meter below GL water table is unaffected by it I mean bearing capacity is unaffected by the water table so QU equal to 11.2 just if we consider the equation without W1 and W2 so 9.97 plus 1.2 Six four equal to twenty two point ton per meter square. So this is how you should be doing the sums when water table is incorporated. This is it for today's class.